Hi beauties, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. Ooh, baby. Y'all, I'm so excited because today, as you can tell, we're finally getting into a PR unboxing. Well, I guess one of my most recent videos was PR unboxing because I've been slacking. But we're getting into the June PR unboxing, finally. A week into August. Well, July. Why do I keep saying June? It was definitely July last month. I wasn't going to come on here bare face today because last time we did it bare face, you know? And I was like, okay, I need to do, I need to do some damn makeup. You know what I mean? But I did my makeup, y'all. I was trying to do a graphic liner look. I took one blink and it started pouring down my face. So that came right off. That's out the picture today. We're coming at you with just the brows and a bare face in the packages, baby. Let's get it. Also, one of the ACs in my trailer went out. <laughs> Lord help me. In summer. In summer, of course. So if you see me profusely sweating, no, you don't you don't anyways though i do want to say real quick i'm not trying to brag in any way shape or form some of my favorite content is literally pr unboxings and i feel so beyond blessed that i can actually film them myself nowadays like ah, such a freaking dream come true and i cannot thank these brands and you beauties enough for supporting me because without you literally none of this would ever be possible before we start the unboxing if you haven't already make sure that you press that subscribe button and post notification bell so you can get notified every time i upload a new video but Baby. Hey, oh, sorry y'all. I'm being crazy today. <laughs> also, if you haven't already and you're really into makeup tutorials, makeup unboxings, um, little reviews, good things like that, you can check out my Instagram and TikTok. They are linked down below for y'all. Oh, and, and I'm on threads. I'm on threads too if you want to check me out over there. Now, let's get to it. Let's get to it. Let's get to it. To it. To it. Peep the pajama pants. Let's go ahead and get into the bubble mailers first. First things first, we have a package here from our friends at Kiehl's. Oh, Kiehl's is that girl. She's like brat summer baby brat summer if i can jeez come on girl open it open it today girl you got this <laughs> So we have a new skincare product here and I'm actually very excited about this one because um, this is supposed to be like a dark spot corrector and it also has like SPF in it. It's supposed to help with discoloration. So I'm very, very excited about this because I'm almost out of my other Kiehl's um, color corrector and I have been using it consistently, like finally consistently for the past two or three weeks now. And I see such a difference, especially over here because over here I have horrible dark, dark spots but I've been seeing such a freaking difference. So once I run out of that, I'm gonna start this and I'm hoping that this one is just as great as the last. So this baby is called the Auto Tone Discoloration and UV Solution. It says that it's a two-in-one formula for correction and protection, including post blemish marks, dark spots, dark patches, and uneven tone. It also is like UV defense, a duh, SPF. It says that it also instantly gives you more radiant skin suitable for all skin types and toads baby that's what i like to see in the packaging i mean it's just giving brat summer they know what they're doing over there like they really do thank you so much keels for sending this over i'm about to see right now if i can save this little sticker i'm about to <gasps> stop it stop it oh my god it came off perfect perfectly you know where she's going this one right here is from our friends at mega revolution y'all baby honestly um, I don't know if y'all remember, but like back in the past, like Makeup Revolution, they used to come out with like back to back to back to back collections. Like it was just makeup overload. And honestly, I don't really see them doing that anymore. Like I don't really see them coming out with brand new makeup too much often, too often. They don't send huge PR packages anymore. Like that's like a bubble mailer. And I honestly commend them for that because it was on, it was just too much it was too much but this baby right here is actually really cool because it's a dupe for a product that i believe costs anywhere from 20 to 30 dollars it's like basically a lip stain that you put on and then you peel it off and it gives you like this really pretty nude kind of lip that lasts all day this is really cool it's called the lip shift lip stain um this baby is only eight dollars eight dollars compared to 27 yeah i'm gonna take that over 27 any day i haven't even opened it yet obviously i haven't tried it out so i'm very excited to see how this works and honestly it, how long it lasts so freaking happy that makeup revolution though does dupes like this because ain't nobody got time to spend 27 dollars on one lip product like do you because i damn sure don't 
They also sent over a, one of their little pout bombs. This is the plumping lip gloss with vitamin E. This one is just a clear one, but I bet you this looks so good and juicy on top of that lip stain, baby. Ah! Thank you so much, Makeover Revolution, for sending this new beauty over for me to try out. I can't wait. Talk about big and juicy lips, baby, with Lawless. That's how we're always gonna be, okay? Y'all, this is by far my favorite, favorite lip gloss ever. Like, if I'm gonna put on a lip gloss for the day, I'm grabbing my Forget the Filler. I'm grabbing it. And we have a new collection of them. Yes! This is introducing the Sweet Daisy Collection. <laughs> oh! And there is a brand new lip mask, okay? Okay, honestly, you know how I just said ain't nobody got time to spend 28 dollars on a lip gloss sorry i'm gonna repurchase every time every time i'm gonna repurchase i love this shit so much okay so it says that these are yes they're already available on sephora and lawless beauty they were available on 729 so they are out and they are ready we have three different shades of the lawless glosses this one is called candy skies i tried this one i have already tried this one on and it is so unique and different it's kind of got it's kind of got this like metallic -y look to it when you put it on your lips it's so different and unique and pretty and I feel like I haven't seen something like this from Lawless yet so I'm very very excited about that we also have Daisy Et. this one is gorgeous as well look how vibrant vibrant actually we're just gonna go ahead yes are you kidding this one these have like a little bit of shimmer in it and I feel like they haven't done that before. Like these, this is like really new. It's definitely not like a brand new formula, but maybe they just added some shimmer. Oh my gosh. I like this one better than Candy Skies. Do y'all see that shine? I mean, these are already glossy, but with that extra shimmer in it, baby. Damn, she's pretty. I love these too because they're like lip plumpers. They're also like plumping your lips while looking gorgeous and glossy. And like as soon as you apply these, you can feel the plumping happening. Like it's not overly powerful like some lip plumpers are. Some lip plumpers literally make you feel like you want to just tear your freaking lips off. They're on fire. But this one is so subtle. It's kind of just like a minty feeling chef's kiss perfection this next one is bonbon bonbon has like that same thing going on with it it's got like shimmer in it it's super pretty it's a little bit lighter than the other two though and i feel like this one is definitely the most sheer out of all three but this is like such an everyday gloss all three colors honestly you could i would wear them every day last but certainly not least we got a brand new lip mask oh and this one is gorgeous i love their lip mask and honestly they're supposed to be overnight lip masks but i kind of just wear them throughout the day and good things like that because they're so hydrating look how pretty this one is uh, it's got like little sparkles and stuff in it oh oh i'm so freaking obsessed with you lawless thank you so much for sending these new beauties over for me to try out i love you girls i love you oh girl i can't stop looking at my lips ah i love this color which one did i put on this one right here mm, new best friend this is my second pr package from our friends over at peace out skincare and i'm very very intrigued by this new product that they just came out with this is called the peace out pore perfecting stick it has five acid blends in it and mushroom extract kale kaolin kaolin clay i don't know how to say that um but it's a targeted treatment stick for unclogging pores and i think this is just so interesting i literally struggle with my pores so much i don't know if i've ever talked about this really on my youtube channel but i know i've talked about it before on tiktoks and things like that when i'm trying out products especially right here in my nose my nose is the freaking worst one thing that i struggle with the most is like blackheads like most of us but just the pores in here freaking ginormous okay ginormous and i cannot stand it i'm also wondering if this would look good under makeup kind of as like a primer i'm wondering if you could use it to like you know help blur your pores but i'm not quite sure because it is meant to be like a uh, treatment basically so it says gently massage over area of concern forehead nose cheeks chin before rinsing thoroughly and patting dry so yeah this okay 
<laughs> answer confirmed you cannot use this under your makeup you're supposed to wash it off which is different i did not think that you were supposed to wash it off the texture of it was a little weird to me when i first saw it because it has like these tiny little beads in it but i feel like that's part of like what's helping you clean your pores you know what i mean like getting a little scrubby scrubby in there because they're super fine and you can feel the texture but it feels like tinier than a grain of sand i feel like that's just really what's going to help you uh scrub your pores up so i'm very very excited about this i'm actually going to try this tonight because i'm just very intrigued if you guys want to see like maybe um maybe a before and after maybe i'll do one on tiktok let me know let me know they also sent over a cute little sample which i'm excited about because i've never tried this either honestly until like a few weeks ago i did not know that peace out had like this wide range of skincare i should have known but i didn't i just thought that they did like um pimple patches because i know that's what they're known for but this is the sample of the peace out vitamin c glow stick i love vitamin c i put i make sure that i'm going in with a skincare vitamin c at least at least in the morning okay oh i'm so freaking excited thank you so much peace out this one here is from a smaller brand they're called lily de they were nice enough to send me over some of their color shifting liquid eyeshadows their multi-chrome liquid eyeshadows y'all look at these uh, i did a little video with these over on tiktok not too long ago if you want to check them out but these are absolutely insane. I don't know the price right off my head, but I know it's not like Sephora prices. It's very, very affordable for a multi-chrome, which I freaking love because honestly, I think that everybody, even if you do simple makeup, you need a little multi-chrome in your life. You need a multi-chrome in your collection, whether it's a lip product, an eye product, something to give you a little spice okay look at that look at that just right there pop it on your inner corner give yourself a little liner with it oh i'm so obsessed these are so freaking gorgeous i honestly i need to do another look with these really really soon ah especially this one look at it just look at it ah obsessed okay thank you so much <laughs> lily Duro. thank you so much for sending this over for me to try out i cannot honestly wait to try more from you okay this last bubble mailer is from Ipsy, so let me go ahead and grab the boxy charm as well from J J July. July, not June. Gosh, I just want to be in June again. So last month, not only did I get the Ipsy glam bag and the boxy charm, I was also able to be gifted some of the products that they sell on their drop shop, their mega drop shop, which is at like once a quarter. And I am shook. Okay, I've never actually looked at the Ipsy mega drop shop. Vanessa Myricks for like $10, Rare Beauty for like $13. I'm like, shit, bitch, I need to start shopping on Ipsy. Let's get into the glam bag first, though. This one threw me off a little bit because usually they always come in their cute little bags, but for some reason, this one came in the old, um, like when Ipsy didn't have BoxyCharm, this one came in the like full size, what did they call that? I can't even remember the name of it, but it came in like a different bag, so I was like, I was like, whoa, this is different. But then this month's was like back to a regular bag. So I don't know. Maybe they just didn't have a bag planned out for last month. We got some miniature goodies up in here. We have some Keys Soul Care, which I'm very excited. I have collected everything that I have from Keys Soul Care from Ipsy. I literally have four products from them now. And I absolutely love one of her. I think it's like a clay mask. I think it's like a poor clay mask. I'm not sure. But I love that mask. I do it a lot. This one is the Perfect Your Light Daily Moisturizer Broad spectrum oh yeah with spf 30 i do have this i own the full size actually because of ipsy thank you ipsy <laughs> i love key soul care though so every single time that i see one of her products in there i get hyped up i get real hyped up next we have the real chemistry i've heard of this brand before fresh start foaming cleanser i love a good cleanser this one is still um all like sealed so i'll probably go ahead and put this in the giveaway pile or give it to my sister or something because i have so many cleansers right now y'all so many cleansers but this is a pretty good brand i've heard of them before we have a tart take fake awake um i believe this is just like one of those eyeliners that you put like right there in your waterline and it's supposed to like brighten up your eyes i honestly haven't used stuff from tarte in a long time so i'm very curious about this we have a cantina beauty hydrating lip glaze y'all this one is in the color blush this color i'm loving her last but not least this is probably my favorite thing that was sent in the ipsy glam bag last month because i just love a good blush i'm such a blush girly this is from 
sap sir serifine seraphine not sure botanicals which i had never heard of this brand until then and then i started following them because their products look so nice look how gorgeous that blush is i hope it doesn't look like toned down on the camera i hope it's really true to the color it's a super bright corally blush and it's just so pretty that little flower stamp in there too so freaking cute i'm so excited to try all of this then we have the july boxy charm i honestly haven't went through this box in a minute it feels like this is almost my box for this month i haven't touched any of these products yet except for my unboxing first things first there's always going to be some skincare goodies in here we have evolution Simalone Overnight Retinol Serum. Oh, I love a good retinol. This is gonna come in handy, baby. This feels so freaking bouge. This bottle is freaking, like it's got some weight to it. We have this right here. I've never heard of this brand, Rose Quartz. This is a Muse Hydrating Silicone Free Treatment Mask. I love a good freaking mask. I'm gonna say it every time. I love to do a mask at least once or twice a week because it's just, relaxing honestly and it's just freaking real self-care real self-care baby wait i feel like this might be for your hair oh my god it is for your hair it's a hair for your it's a mask for your hair i'm even more excited i love a hair mask we have a african botanicals mineral cleansing mask here's the face mask baby i've heard of this brand too and that their products are really really nice so very very curious about this i wanted to see what the texture of it was okay yes it's kind of like one of those like little clay masks i don't know why but i love a good mud clay mask like i love that shit we also got a liquid eyeliner from pear nova i have tried a few of their products because of boxycharm and ipsy as well last but not least the palette in the boxycharm last month is gorgeous this one is from laura geller it's called the wildflower wishes 14 multi-finish eyeshadow palette look how freaking stunning for some reason this color story reminds me of just like winnie the pooh childhood that kind of thing like that like honestly this almost looks a little bit similar to the winnie the pooh palette from ColourPop. i absolutely love this orange love this green the shimmers so pretty i cannot wait to use this no actually this palette that came in my other box um from the mega drop shop that we'll get to in just a minute that was the first time i ever tried a laura geller eyeshadows and they were really nice so i can't can't wait to try this one okay i liked every single product that i got from the drop shop except for this right here it was it's from dallas and james skincare co it's this watermelon dream it's like a jelly cleanser but it comes in a ball like i literally already threw this away because it was just it was messy it felt weird and i honestly did not like the smell of it at all it was basically a jelly ball that you put in this little bag and you wet it and then you wash your face with it i was just not a huge fan i did like the way that it exfoliated your face when you put it in the like little net bagging that it had but i was just not a fan of this i mean their brand is really cute so i would be like so down to try something else from them in the future but yeah this one was definitely not for me i also got an hourglass gloss i would show you the actual gloss but it's somewhere back there in my lip my lip uh, collection behind the boxes so sorry about that i should have grabbed it before this video <laughs> and then ah, this is probably the item i was most excited for danessa myrick's color fix waterproof liquid pigment i have never tried these before but i've seen so many people use them including danessa myrick's i love danessa myrick so much and this product is freaking phenomenal it's beautiful the way that it reflects I don't even want to use too much because this stuff is like liquid gold to me, honestly. But just look how pretty that is. I hope it's picking up on camera like it is in person. But it's just, it's so gorgeous. It's like this gold kind of pinky reflect. Love this so much. I actually was, was using this today in the eye look that I was doing before it got destroyed by my watery eyeballs. I have personally heard so many great things about this Five Cents brand in general. So I was super excited to see this in there. And then also this scent alone smells freaking incredible this is the one that i've been gravitate gravitating towards for the past month it just smells so good so good i wish i could describe scents in a good way but i'm horrible at describing things <laughs> i had never heard of this brand it's called o odyssey maybe california this is a eye contour serum now i'm not gonna lie when i first saw this project product i was 
a little apprehensive. It's a, it's a little scary, especially when you're saying something's going around my eyeball. I was a little worried about it, but I've been using this a couple times and I can definitely see a difference in my under eyes when I use it. I feel like it also looks really good underneath makeup because I love going in with a good eye cream be before I start doing all my base and good things like that. You can mix this with your eye cream or you could use it alone. I personally like to use it alone just because I feel like you could see the real effect from it. But yeah, I've been loving this and I honestly want to try more from this brand. The sweats, y'all. They're coming. They are coming. This last product, like I said before, is a Laura Geller palette. This is called um, the Wearables palette. And y'all, it's wearable. Like, it's very, very natural like very very natural but I feel like this kind of palette I love to have in my collection just because I love to go in with many different palettes when I'm doing my makeup I've done that I've t said that to y'all plenty of times I can't remember the original price of this palette but it was only like I think 12 15 dollars maybe for the ipsy drop shop so I'm telling y'all if you ain't a part of it you need to be because I was like shook at the prices I'm so excited for the next time because I am gonna pick up some things myself thank you so much ipsy for sending literally all these goodies over i feel so blessed now let's get into the boxes baby let's start with this milani one over here this package i literally got the day after i filmed my last pr unboxing i was like oh my gosh that would have been perfect for yesterday but this baby is from milani cosmetics and i just love this packaging i swear this is so cute how am i ever going to throw this away a little suitcase they were nice enough to send me over some of their new summer goodies in here. As you could tell, there's already two of the bronzing drops missing because one went home with my little sister and the other one is in my drawer because I've been loving her, loving her. I still feel like the Pacific, the Pacifica Cosmetics ones are my favorite, but the Milani ones, I will say, come in a close second. Y'all already know the Iconic Luminoso. I probably have two of these already in my collection, so that one's definitely gonna go in the giveaway pile. But now there is a Kareem Balloon lush version of it y'all know how I feel about my cream blush I'm so excited about this this one is right up my alley too because it's an orangey blush and y'all know how I love my orangey blush yes Milani not only did we get a cream blush we also got a fruit fetish lip oil to match it as well a luminoso lip oil this color is so pretty I'm just gonna go ahead and slide this on top of whatever we have on look at that look at that i feel like a lot of their lip oils they don't really have too much of a tint to it but this one has like the perfect amount of tint and the perfect amount of shimmer it is so pretty and then over on this side we have some products that they already have had for a little while we have the make it last sunscreen with spf 30 in it i really enjoy this product already do have it so it will be going in the giveaway pile but i love the fact not only should you go in with sunscreen like before you do your makeup if you're going to be out in the sun all day or at the beach but the fact that you can have a spray on version love that this would be so easy to have with you like at the beach too like beach days long beach days just to like reapply super quickly on the face love this and then we also got the anti-gravity waterproof mascara i honestly the first time i used this mascara i did not like it i did not like it at all y'all know my number one mascara is actually the milani uh tubing mascara the lash extension tubing mascara i use this pretty much almost every time i do my makeup i love this mascara so freaking much this one didn't really do it for me but i did try the regular formula not the waterproof one so i'm curious to see if the waterproof one will make me change my mind oh my gosh i also forgot to show y'all this it looks like a little passport and like this is the contents and then it's like almost like i just love this this is so freaking cute i'm gonna keep this forever each page has like what product is in here and it gives it it almost looks like a real freaking little passport it's got its little stamps at the bottom i just i love milani thank you so much milani for blessing your girl this next one is from pacifica Ooh, and i'm so excited about this this is the dream lit under eye brightener i believe this is brand new i don't know but look how different this looks like it really almost looks just like a white um concealer almost but maybe it's just the packaging i don't know i'm very intrigued by this i love a good under eye brightener i use one every time i do my makeup this one's really different it feels more like a serum than an under eye brightener because 
I don't know. It really didn't brighten much, but I am excited to try this. I'm gonna have to read the directions, see how this works. Thank you so much, Pacifica Beauty, for sending this over. And it's gonna stay because it's our bad decade. Y'all, this packaging, I can't even get over how cute this is. Look at look at all the urban decay bouncy balls i'm literally gonna put these in a little jar and display them somewhere that is so cute urban decay was nice enough to send over their new all-nighter long-lasting makeup setting spray this one is has a hyaluronic acid and it's watermelon scented i'm very very excited about this one because i honestly love the all-nighter setting spray but for me i feel like my face dries out a little bit over time like i have so super super dry skin so I feel like the all-nighter kind of dries me out after a little while with the hyaluronic acid in this one and the fact that it's supposed to be dewy I'm very very excited about this I haven't even really smelt it much oh that smells good I feel like some watermelon scented things they are like a miss for me because they don't really smell like watermelon but this really smells straight up like a natural watermelon smell. It says bouncy skin, all day hydration, refreshing scent, locks in makeup, locks makeup in place for up to 16 hours, just like the other ones. Look how cute their little collection is. Ah! Thank you so freaking much, Urban Decay, for sending this over for me to try out. I am literally gonna get so much use out of this. I have like three concerts I'm going to in October. Baby, all night. <laughs> We have one here from our besties over at Clarence. <gasps> yeah! <laughs> this was literally my face yesterday when I opened this. <laughs> I was so freaking excited. These are their new limited edition lip oils. We have 24 white, which is silver iridescent shimmer for sparkling shine. It literally is so pretty. And the packaging, ah! Now, I believe this is like a little collab with Sephora and Clarins, which I think is really cute. And honestly, details in the packaging, it's giving Sephora. It's almost giving like Alice in Wonderland a bit, a little bit, like checkers. I don't know, but it is giving Sephora. We also have 25 Black. This one is a custom shade of shimmery plum and golden pearls. This one is so freaking pretty. I've honestly never seen, a, like I've seen black lip glosses, but I've never seen a black black lip oil it's mostly gonna go on clear but I don't know if y'all can see that shimmer in there it is so pretty these Clarins lip oils they can they are a little expensive but I feel like this is one of the top lip oil formulas out there it is so smooth it is so nice it lasts for such a long time for a lip oil I love these so much and I was so excited to receive them thank you so much Clarins for sending these over y'all know last month I got my first PR package from Anissa Beauty but they were nice enough to send me another package this month and I'm very 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 excited about this okay this is called the wash 2.0 this is a deep cleanse makeup and skincare brush okay I'm very very excited about this I have never really used I think I've only used an actual brush wash one or two times but I've only ever used like I usually use like um, Dawn dish soap or I'll go to Dollar Tree and I'll get those um, like pearls the uh, what is it called? The, what is that called? Um, um, the hand soap, like the one, the, the block, what is that called? <laughs> the block of soap? I don't freaking know. Anyways, that, I usually wash my brushes with that, and I feel like there's, like, some kind of weird residue, especially that the pearls one leaves on your brushes, so I'm very excited to have this brush wash. I'm very excited to see how it cleans my Anissa brushes more than anything, because I feel like, especially a foundation brush, it's a little bit harder to clean. I'm very excited to see how this baby takes the foundation out of my pinnacle foundation brush because girl that one could be a little hard to clean it also came with a cute little anisa beauty towel right here and one of those little pads that you wash your brushes on and i feel like i'm gonna love this more than the one that i have because it has this little hand thing on it and it's so easy to just have have this in your hand washing it under the freaking sink you know what i mean love this thank you so freaking much anisa beauty i am really hoping to become an affiliate with them just because i love i like live by the pinnacle foundation brush okay i love it so much and i just love anisa so thank you oh y'all don't even know i'm so excited about this one this is from formless beauty baby this is jenny mccarthy's brand and they reached out to me over on tiktok to see if I wanted to try out some of her lip gloss. I'm so excited for this. Okay, I love Jenny McCarthy, the mass singer. Ah, she's hilarious. Oh, and we got a little handwritten note too. I love a handwritten note because y'all know 
where it's going. Thank you for the supporting Formless Beauty and caring about the quality of ingredients as much as we do. Welcome to the Formless Beauty family. Ah! I'm so excited. This packaging is so nice. The black and white. It looks so sleek. It's also cruelty free, which we love to see. And this gloss. Uh, hello, Gorge. I love this color so much. It is so... I don't know if y'all can see all the sparkles in there, but it is beautiful. Also, just how freaking gorgeous. How freaking gorgeous. Honestly, I'm gonna have a hard time to figure out which side I want to hang on my wall because she looks like a literal Barbie doll. I do want to swatch this baby just to see if there is truly... Oh! Oh my god. The sparkles in it are like blue or purple. That's gorge. That's freaking gorge. I will say they are a little pricey for just a little tiny lip gloss, but I'm very excited about this. Very freaking excited. Thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you so much, Formless Beauty. Cannot wait to use this. Oh, I did forget to tell y'all what shade it was, just in case you wanted to check it out yourself. This one is the shade Ma uh, 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 Manifest. <laughs> and I'm manifesting a lot over here. This one right here is from a skincare brand. I found them on Aspire and I've always like wanted to try their products. They let me pick out a couple of things and I'm gonna do a video with these because I'm very, very excited. These are very exciting. These are shimmer drops with turmeric and niacinamide. It's supposed to be illuminating, hydrating, plumping, and I'm assuming you put this on as like kind of like a prep before your makeup, but they are so shimmery, y'all. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my face so y'all can just see look how freaking gorgeous and glowy that is like do y'all see it has like the slightest bit of shimmer in it that just makes your skin freaking glow baby i'm so excited to try this out underneath my makeup and really see like how it wears i love a glowy moment and then we have this baby right here this is the aha seaweed gel with lactic acid it's for resurfacing exfoliating and it's supposed to be gentle as well which i need because there are certain products like certain skincare products that will just make my sweet little red face even redder. <laughs> Lactic acid it offers coveted exfoliating benefits while respecting the integrity integrity of the skin. Oh, I love that. For some reason, it's like I'm like really wanting to smell it, so I gotta smell it. Oh, it smells really good. It almost kind of smells like a vitamin C a little bit. I don't know. That smells good. I am so excited about this. Thank you so much for sending these over, Apto. I cannot, I hope that's how you say it. Apto, Apto skincare. Um, and I also really love their packaging. It's like aluminum packaging. I love that. You don't really see that too often, I feel like, unless it's like a hair care product. We got another one from our besties over at Milani, and I am actually going to gift this whole entire little box and the product inside to my sister because she's actually starting her sophomore year of high school next week. <gasps> My little baby is a sophomore. What the fuck? But look at this packaging. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Milani's packaging is always top tier. It might not be completely like environmentally friendly sometimes, but packaging is gonna give. And look at this card too. Uh, gosh, I remember when I played volleyball in high school. Good times, good times. We have a ginormous make it last setting spray, y'all. I have to show y'all this compared to the, to the one that we literally just got. Where is it? This is the original packaging. This is the new one. This thing is freaking huge. I think this is the biggest setting spray I've ever owned in my life. How much does this have in it? Six US fluid ounces. Bitch, if that doesn't last you, last you at least a year, I don't know what will. I literally already own this setting spray. I probably own one of every kind of the setting sprays that they have. Like I own the SBF one. I own like the fruit fetish ones. I love Milani setting spray so freaking much. It's actually one of my favorite products from them. I just love their complexion products overall. Like honestly, if you're gonna shop for complexion products at the drugstore, I highly recommend checking out Milani if you haven't. Thank you so freaking much Milani for sending this over. I already showed my sister and she is excited <gasps> we have another newbie over here okay you know how last time i said i had never received any food from like any brand well now we got some drinks baby ah! 
<laughs> this is from a brand called Happy Hour and they spell it like H-A-P-P-I, which I think is so freaking cute. These are actually THC seltzers, which I have personally never heard of. You can only drink these if you are 21 and older. But honestly, I did not know, well, I, like I know that edibles and things like that are a thing, but I just didn't know that they made like THC seltzers like this. I love the idea. I will say they are pretty small cans, but I feel like if you want like the, like the crown drinks, the ones that come in cans like this, they are small cans just like this come in a four pack and it's like $16. So, you know, some things are just expensive like that. As you can see, I did already drink one while I was enjoying the airs tour last weekend, um, the live streams, cause y'all know I'll be watching. Um, I was drinking one and honestly, I can't say, I didn't really like feel anything except for tired. Like I was so tired. And that's honestly one of the reasons why I wanted to try it because I have such hard time sleeping such a hard time freaking sleeping so i wanted to see if these would help with that these are the lemon elderflower um what is that called what is that called taste flavor these are the <laughs> lemon elderflower flavor that's a freaking tongue twister um this one only has 2.5 milligrams of thc and it only has 15 calories as well i will say the sh the taste is not strong like it just it's a seltzer it's basically like a seltzer water but kind of with a little bit of flavoring in it you know what i mean but i did like the taste i was a little worried because i did not know what an elderflower was i was a little worried that i was gonna be thrown off by it or it was gonna taste like florally and it doesn't at all so i was excited about that. This one right here is Lime Wild Mint. This one is five milligrams of THC. I This was actually my first pick because I love a mint moment and I love lime and it kind of almost reminded me of like maybe it would be like a Sprite but with mint in it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just super excited to try these out. I'm actually going to do a cute little video with these by my pool. Um, I was going to do it this week but Debbie count your days debbie that freaking hurricane anyways i'm so excited about these thank you so much happy hour for sending these over i'm also gonna um save a couple of them for my father-in-law because he was like those are so cool i've never seen anything like that oh my gosh how those get sent to you <laughs> i really don't even know but i'm very freaking excited that they did thank you so freaking much oh baby the scream i scrumped with this one the scream i scrumped half magic half magic i was a little sad there for a second because i haven't been getting any of their new launches and i was like dang i guess i did something because they don't took me off that damn pr list but then this showed up the other day and i was freaking out like are you kidding first off i absolutely love the way that half magic beauty always puts like an extra little something in your bag that or box that doesn't have anything to do with makeup like it's the little trinkets and stuff that i i don't want to say like cherish more but like something like this like my little eyeshadow stick's not gonna last forever granted i could buy it again but this is gonna last forever i could keep this forever and ever and ever and have the memories and i absolutely love that this little diary will also be my little diary if i ever go to like a half magic event so you know that little scrapbook well i don't know if i ever showed y'all that little scrapbook that i did of new york i put it in like this little ipsy journal that they gave us i made a little scrapbook and this is basically what this is going to be for me it's going to be like a little scrapbook if i ever get to go to a half magic event maybe one day i'll have a collab with half magic just manifesting over here these are their brand new sparkle stick eye crayons and y'all i'm not gonna lie they are stunning they are stunning i've only swatched them so far but oh my gosh, I feel like the um, eyeshadow sticks with shimmers in them are getting way more popular and I'm excited about that. Like I said, I haven't tried these on the eyes yet. I want to do a video with them next week when I get some time, but oh, they're so creamy. They're so beautiful. I cannot wait to put these on my eyeballs. I think there's one, two, three, four five shades as of right now and i'm sure in the future they'll come out with more but we have like a pink a purple kind of like an opal a blue and then like this nice little dusty color oh i'm so excited Dottie davy oh wait i missed one there's also this dark blue shade punk pony oh 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 okay okay do y'all just see the shimmer unbelievable so freaking excited there's also four new shades of the sculpted two two in one lip liners these come in oh 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 don't ruin the eyeliner baby these are my absolute favorite not eyeliner lip liner formula these are my absolute favorite lip liner formula 
I don't know why, but I love it so much. I do feel like they do, they are a little dry a little bit. Like if you don't work fast, they'll kind of just like stay in one place. You know what I mean? But other than that, they are pigmented. They are beautiful. We have Emo Rose right here. Emo Rose, um, Prancing Queen. Those are on the same ones. And then on this stick, we have Seize the Slay. And we have more haze which those are even deeper than the brown lip liners that she already has which i'm excited about i love a brown lipstick i love a brown lip liner always gonna gravitate towards that so i am excited thank you so freaking much half magic beauty thank you so much donnie davy i've said it a million times and i'll say it a million times again donnie davy is an inventive freaking bitch she is that bitch she's such a beautiful makeup artist and i just love her brand i mean like there's products that she has that obviously other brands have but she's just so different with it and i love it i will take her tips and tricks any day y'all this is another one that i was like oh i definitely got kicked off the pr list because i am i even worthy am i <laughs> but milk makeup was nice enough to send over their brand new odyssey And the crowd literally goes wild. I'm screaming. I'm so excited about this, especially these colors. I feel like, except for Globetrot, Globetrot is like my number one. I was wearing this literally yesterday. I love this. But I feel like I love these colors more than the first freaking batch. Like, I don't know. I've been really into lavenders and purples this past year. This is like one of the prettiest things I've ever seen in my life. These two combined, bitch game changer so this one is in the shade adventure we'll just do a little little swatchy swatch because honestly the reflect in these is unlike any other lip gloss i've ever seen well except for half magic half magic has really nice lip glosses as well glittery lip glosses this one is in the shade experience a beautiful gold moment just look at that like a lip oil gloss that looks like that stop and give me 14 of them <laughs> we have wonder right here beautiful pigment in that i can't wait to just put that with a nude lip liner oh baby and last but not least this one right here it is called day trip i really enjoyed this one as well it's kind of like one of those burnty orangey moments such a pretty color i feel like this one in fall is gonna pop baby their packaging is always also so freaking cute i'm so excited I'm obviously going to be doing a little video with these over on TikTok or Instagram. So if you want to check that out, make sure you're following me over there. It says that they are available at milkmakeup.com on 81324, Sephora.com 81324, and Sephora stores 10424. I wonder why it takes so long to get to the actual store. Hmm. It also says a little pro tip down here swipe it on cover, swipe it on over. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Cooling water jelly tint for a glossy watercolor look or layer over lip and cheek to dial up the color. Ooh, I'm gonna have to try that for sure. I definitely wanna try this purple shade on top of a water jelly tint. So bad. Milk Makeup is definitely in my top five favorite brands and it's still absolutely insane to me that they send me, that they send me stuff like this. Like, I can't even believe this. Thank you so much, Milk Makeup. I love you guys. You don't even know. I just realized I forgot to take my picture again my cover picture what the fudge is that called why do i always forget what it's called when i press the record button <laughs> so i literally just had to stack all the boxes back up again take a picture and then take them back down <laughs> good lord this one here is from our besties at Colfi beauty and i was so excited about this i don't know if i if i told you guys in the last one or not but i am now an affiliate with Colfi beauty ah, can you believe i'm saying that i love them so much so y'all can use my code now at Colfi beauty to to save some money it's say 10 if you want to save some money i do make commission from that code and you save a little bit bit of money so it's a win-win baby this collection also came in this cute coffee cup are you kidding i'm gonna represent them everywhere these are their brand new lip stains y'all oh! now i have already done a little video with these over on tiktok if you want to check it out but look at these colors look at these colors i feel like they are mostly like colors for fall am i right though i feel like these colors in fall they are gonna be out 
outstanding. These babies are called the Lassie Lip Staining Lip Oils. A one-of-a-kind lip oil stain that goes on glossy while keeping your lips stained throughout the day with powerful pigment and hydration. These are so freaking cool. I absolutely love a stain, but the fact that I could just have my stain and gloss in one, I'm so here for it. This one is the shade Lucky Lotus. Look how freaking vibrant. Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I also really wanted to swatch this one for you. This one is called Tamarid and it is so freaking pretty. Look at that. That one is like such an everyday wearer. Ah! So beautiful. I absolutely love this formula. It's very thin, but it also feels like it's almost thick. Like it's very hard to describe. I don't know. It feels so nice on your lips though it literally feels like you're not wearing anything at all as of right now there are six different shades to choose from and i'm really hoping that they come out with more because i can't get enough of this formula thank you so freaking much Kofi beauty for sending these over stickers baby <laughs> We have a couple more packages here from our besties over at Claren. These babies, I have been using up. This is the SPF. This is the Broad Spectrum SPF 50. And y'all, I've been using this every time that I get in the sun, every time I go to the beach, every time I go anywhere. This baby is the one that I've been gravitating towards lately. But this one right here, I love this one because it's a spray. I absolutely like, one of the worst feelings, honestly, is sunscreen. I'm not going to lie. One of the worst feelings is sunscreen. Just like the texture of it. I don't know. It's not always the greatest. But this one is kind of watered down a little bit. And I love the fact that you can spray it, okay? You still have to rub it in a bit. But the fact that you can spray it is just, I don't know, something about it. I like it a lot more. These babies, though, they stay in the beach bag. Stay in the beach bag. And then we also got a mask i do already have this mask this is the v facial intense wrap it defuffs de defuffs depuffs relieves and brightens it was international masking day on 716 so did you get your mask on did you clarence really keeps me up to date and really has me feeling bougie over here thank you so much for sending these goodies over for me to try we have a cute one here from smashbox they came out with these little eyeshadow palettes these are called the always on board eyeshadow palettes oh no wait always on board always on mood board eyeshadow palettes they sent over two of them i believe there is four to choose from this one is cozy vibes very neutral very beautiful oh this one's would be perfect for travel and then we also have fiery vibes fiery vibes i definitely like a lot more because i love a good like warm tone moment but other than that i'm super excited about these i was um debating on putting them both in my giveaway pile because i don't think like you know neutrals i don't use them as much but i really like the burnt one so i'm gonna keep this one but this one's gonna go in the giveaway pile and i really want to pick up either this one or this one y'all know i love my green so probably this one right here i just think that is so pretty and i love how it has your neutrals in there and then the pops of color because i go in with that a whole lot i'm so excited about these thank you so much smashbox for thinking of me i don't know how i forgot about this one we have another one from our besties at kofi i love kofi so much this was actually the package that was sent over to me when i became an affiliate with them i got to pick out two products so i picked out a main match concealer in yogurt drops this is the one that i already have so i have another backup thank you lord because this one is starting to get a little low i absolutely love this concealer so freaking much i'm also gonna have to pick up another shade soon because i believe yogurt drops is not gonna be my winter shade i also picked up this baby right here this one is really cool it's kind of like um a cream like eyeshadow moment this is called the zari eyes eyeshadow and this one is in the shade disco dreams look how gorgeous look how gorgeous i did uh use this in a video the other day on tiktok if you want to check it out i am just obsessed with this formula once you put it on too like it's not going anywhere it's not smudging it's not going anywhere and it's just so pretty and so easy to put on your eyes i've been obsessed thank you so freaking much Kofi beauty for sending these goodies over love you this one is from makeup by mario y'all and i freaked out when i opened this ah. 
It says sculpt and pop pear soft sculpt shaping stick and soft pop blush stick for creamy definition and radiant color. So they dropped some new shades of their blush stick and their cream contour stick. For the cream contour, they sent over the shades. Where's the other one? Light and fair. I've been using light and I really, really like it. Um, also, this formula is super creamy, super buildable as well. And I've been really enjoying that. I will say I don't really care for the brush that comes at the end like I really don't I, I it's just not for me it's too too dense like I feel like if anything this might be better for like foundation it's just too dense for anything else I mean the contour maybe I still just feel like it's too big for that though other than that though the actual product itself is creamy it's nice it's beautiful like glides like butter baby glides like butter as for the blush sticks honestly all three of these shades are absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i've done a video with these on tiktok as well so here we have the shade oh that's definitely the wrong sound girl uh, we have the shade watermelon it is so stunned like are you are you kidding and so creamy then we have pomegranate which i will say is probably my favorite y'all know i love a, like a purpley toned blush moment and she just really is that girl so gorgeous and last but not least we have a soft peach and i feel like this one is definitely going to be for like the more subtle girlies just because it's so light but you can still really build these up too to get that super impact of the color you know what i mean i have been absolutely enjoying these products so freaking much thank you so much makeup by mario for sending them over this is also my first package ever from tula skincare i have tried tula products in the past i think um i think it was uh what was it was it a cleanser or was it a toner i really can't remember off the top of my head but they sent over some goodies by me some goodies i'm very excited about this product this is probably the one that i am the most excited about this is called the bronze boost glow bronzing drops so these are basically like the milani ones the pacifica ones that i use and i am so excited to try these i feel like they are a little dark so these are definitely going to be something that i um mix with my moisturizer and probably only one pump that i need but i'm super super excited about this i've been getting such into the bronzing drops even though before i was totally hating on them i was such a hater we also have this baby right here which is very cool and different it's the rose glow plus get it cooling and brightening eye balm this baby is actually cooling i've tried it out only once but when you put it under your eyes like it there's actually a cooling sensation like it kind of feels like Ooh, it kind of feels like the lawless gloss the plumping gloss but on your under eyes if that makes sense like it's a cooling sensation and it's a little bit weird being under your eyes but it's also really relaxing in a weird way and then they also sent over a filter primer this is a blurring and moisturizing primer Tula, how'd you know i was dry over here girl i needed this so bad okay i cannot wait to try this i honestly did not know that tula had actual like makeup products you know what i mean because i feel like this is makeup and this is makeup like this is makeup and i thought that they just did skincare so i'm learning something new every day and i'm very curious to see if they have any other makeup or if maybe they'll actually come out with more makeup in the future very interested in that we also got the cult classic purifying face cleanser this baby is so big this one will probably go right into my youth uh youth to the people bottle i have this glass like bottle that one of their cleansers came in and i used all of it up and now i just refill it every time i need a new cleanser this is so big it's probably gonna last me a lifetime i'm so excited and then last but not least we got the 24 7 moisture hydrating day and night cream oh i've been in the market for a new one too so Ooh, she might be the new one. I am so freaking excited to dive into more Tula skincare. Like I said, I've only ever tried one of their products, but every time that I've heard somebody talk about them, it's been really really great things so i'm so excited thank you so much tula for sending all these goodies over for me to try out we lost a bubble mailer in the process y'all oh my gosh we got a restock baby from our besties at velour and i'm so excited i love velour i also got a second pair of the short and sweet lashes i picked these ones out because me and my aunt are going to the short and sweet tour the sabrina carpenter tour so and i already have a pair that i haven't used yet so i was thinking like we could match our short and sweet sweet lashes also 
I'm wondering if like Sabrina Carpenter actually named these or if like they got it from her or if they knew something because Sabrina Carpenter uses velour lashes. So the parallels are paralleling. I need to know. I need to know. Anyways, we got this pair too. This one is in pixie dust. I love this um, type of lashes from them. There are these hemp derived lashes and I just love them. They're so beautiful and they look really like natural lashes to me. So excited about that. Thank you so much, Valor. I do have a code with them as well if you want to save some money. It's Beauty by Say 20. I do not make any commission from that one. Let's go from this side and we have ones from Hard Candy. You don't even know. This is like the most exciting thing from Hard Candy, I think, since the Wednesday collection in October last year for me. Like, I'm so excited about this. They came out with liquid eyeshadows, shadow paints. These are basically, well, depending on the performance, I haven't tried them out yet. The, I feel like these are basically going to be a dupe for about face pretty much they started out with eight beautiful shades and i honestly think they did a perfect job picking the shades because we have some natural ones for our natural girlies and then we have some pops of color baby i love the colors that they choose i will say there are a couple of shades that um say they're not eye safe which is kind of weird if you're gonna call this a shadow paint but there are certain eye shadows in general that say that they're not good for the eyes because of staining and things like that so just be cautious if you do try these out i believe it was the purple one and one of the other cold one, um bold ones i can't remember i did really want to swatch this kind of like highlighter one this honestly looks like a straight up highlighter the packaging and everything tell me that don't look like a highlighter <laughs> I love the packaging though. It's so sleek and cute. Ooh, baby. That is so pretty. I'm just curious to see how they're going to blend out, if they are going to be truly buildable, buildable, how eyeshadow is going to look on top of them, all of the above. I'm so excited about these. Hard Candy is working hard over there, baby, with their new launches, and I'm loving every minute of it. Thank you so much for sending these over. I will be doing a TikTok video with these if you want to check it out. You don't even know. You don't even know how excited I was for this. This one is from Urban Decay as well, and they sent over their face bond. I am so freaking excited about this. I did like um, a little shop with me in Sephora when we were in New York City in June, and I stumbled upon these. I saw so many videos about them before I stumbled upon them, and then I realized that the price was $40, $40, and I was like, I can't spend that right now. I can't do it for one product. I want to get multiple products while I'm in Sephora today. They were nice enough to send me over over a couple of shades I have six fair warm and five fair neutral so freaking excited about this I've heard such amazing things this baby is self-setting it has three percent niacinamide it says that you can't feel the coverage like you can't feel it on your face but the coverage is amazing I've heard so many good things about this I will say my only like tiff with it literally because I haven't even tried the formula yet but it's just how expensive it is and how tiny the bottle is because if I love this if I love this my wallet's not gonna love it <laughs> they also sent over one of their original all-nighter setting sprays which I'm very excited about this because I already do have one of these but I like having them on hand because my sister likes this formula as well I actually just gave her one last weekend so it's nice to have these on hand because a lot of people love them and you gotta share the wealth okay I will also definitely be doing a TikTok video on these I know I'm late to it but I don't care I'm definitely doing it so freaking excited about this face bond ah, thank you so much Urban Okay, I love you. We got a couple of packages here from our friends at Profusion, baby. This one I was so freaking excited about. This is their brand new Twilight palette. Look at the colors in there. It's giving more Twilight than the actual ColourPop Twilight palette, is it not? <laughs> This is a 21 shade palette and I love the colors in here. It's very cool tone, but there's also, I feel like there's also a little hint of warm in here, which I love. These shimmers though, I will say I am the most excited for. They feel so buttery. They are so shimmery and beautiful. Ooh! I cannot wait to use that. These freaking blues, like are you kidding me? This dark blue? I need to look up how much this palette is right now because you know how I love my perfusion. They are amazing. Their products work amazing, work amazing, but their prices are also usually amazing as well. I thought this would might might have been like $15, something like this. This only retails for $11.99. 
21 eyeshadows for $11.99. Nobody's doing it like Perfusion nowadays. They really aren't. I'm so excited. Thank you so much for sending this over. We also received this baby right here, which I think is honestly super freaking cool and super freaking essential, to be honest. This is also perfect for travel. If you need like a little to-go makeup travel kit, but you don't want to pack any of your makeup or you don't want to worry about getting like smaller containers to put stuff in, this would be perfect. This is called the Artistry Essential. 12 piece beauty set and you all this thing almost has literally everything in it to do a full face just this thing right here I also absolutely love this bag that it comes with like you are already ready to go the bag is packed put it in your luggage and hit the road we have a three-piece brush set in here we have a setting spray in here we have a four pan eyeshadow palette we have a liquid blush oh that color is pretty I cannot wait to use that we have a brow gel we also have an eyeshadow primer and even a liquid highlighter and liquid eyeliner all right did you hear that? Literally all of that is in this bag. Incredible. I think something like this is something that every brand should look into doing with their products. Put that it, put it into a mini size, whatnot, or whatever you have to do and do this because I feel like it would fly off the shelves, especially for independent makeup artists and stuff like that, that does makeup for weddings, good things like that. Something like this is so freaking cool and such a good way to like get yourself started you know what i mean so thank you so much profusion for sending this over this little bag is going to come in handy the next time we go on a vacation i also got the most wonderful email from profusion the other day so exciting things coming and i love profusion so much they are really near and dear to my heart and they believe in me and i believe in them and i love the relationship i love you guys thank you last two baby last two let's get it because i'm about to pass out in the heat in here first things first pixie beauty this one I'm so freaking excited about. So they came out with these after sun masks. And y'all know I'll be out in the sun a lot, okay? That pool, that pool's calling my name right now. So this is supposed to be a soothing infusion sheet mask. So like after a long day in the pool, in the sun, at the beach, this is gonna be perfect. It says it has aloe vera in it, cucumber, chamomile, instantly soothing and cooling effect sheet mask. Serum concentrate of aloe vera soothes. Chamomile extract helps to calm and de-stress, promoting more balanced, rehydrated skin. Oh, it says that you leave these on for about 10 to 15 minutes. I am so <laughs> excited about these. I'm, I'm like, want to go to the beach tomorrow just so that I could try these out when I'm done. They also sent over EOD cleansing oil. I'm usually not a huge fan of cleansing oils except for removing my eye makeup. Removing your eye makeup get a cleansing oil because i'm telling you it's a game changer it really gets all the nitty-gritty in there but i'm very excited to try this formula i didn't even know that they had a product like this these must both be new this also has soybean oil in it and argan oil in it so you're gonna be a hydrated babe period and then of course you know pixie always sends over a cute gift as well kind of just like half magic they're always sending over either a cute little bag a cute little hat something like that and i'm obsessed with this bucket hat it honestly kind of makes me just feel like Tinkerbell like I feel like Tinkerbell I cannot wait to rep this at the beach in the pool oh she's so cute and I've never liked bucket hats before this one is so cute thank you so freaking much Pixie Beauty this I don't know if I've ever told you this but I probably have here on my channel Pixie Beauty was one of the first if not the first high or like just mainstream makeup brand to ever send me a PR and I've been on their PR list for literally almost four years now which is insane to say but i love them so freaking much so thank you i love you last but not least our babies at ColourPop sent over a package and we got an extended collection to the wings club collection and these i want to say i think it's my favorite thing from the whole entire wings club collection because i think they came, did they come out with this last year last year or this year it had to be last year that they came out with like the eyeshadow palette and all that good stuff well now they extended it baby these are their shadow sticks and if you want to check out the video i did on them i highly recommend doing it because i'm not gonna do anything but like swatch them today but you should see them on the eyes because they are beautiful i've really never seen an eyeshadow stick that shifts like these they're kind of multi-chrome and i think that's incredible because i didn't know that that was really even possible to do in an eyeshadow stick liquid form yeah but in a cream form i was not expecting it like look at this yellow one are you what are you actually kidding it's actually magical the packaging is on point as well like 
can't get any better. ColourPop really is on it, just like Glam Light, always on it with the packaging. There are six beautiful shades to choose from, and they are absolutely gorgeous. And also for like a multi-chrome moment, super affordable. And then also we got a Super Shock highlighter. At first I thought this was gonna be one of the Soul Body All Over Body Shimmering Powder things, because I really love those formulas. But this actually just says that it's a ColourPop Super Shock highlighter, which is a little different because every one that I have in this packaging is a sole body product which is technically a ColourPop brand but still like it's a different brand name on top of it you know what I mean but this one is actually ColourPop and this is so gorge I definitely feel like this is way more subtle like these kind of hot highlighters the super shock highlighters are a little bit more subtle than the soul body shimmering body powders I love the soul body shimmering body powders if you're gonna get a highlighter from ColourPop I just re recommend grabbing those instead of the super shock um, highlighters because I just feel like they last a lot longer and they're just way more vibrant but again packaging ta -ta, baby across the board <gasps> Y'all, I feel like I just ran five miles and we both know that ain't happening around here. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not gonna make this outro too long because it is seriously hot and I need to seriously get into some AC. But if you did enjoy this video and you wanna let me know, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up and leave me a little, uh, the, the envelope with the heart. Leave me the envelope with the heart emoji in the comments if you stayed here to the end. I did wanna say a huge thank you again to all of the brands for sending over all these goodies. Like I say all the time, I'm overwhelmed, but I'm overwhelmed in the best way. The lineup for content is lining up and I'm excited. Anyways, I love you beauties so freaking much and we will definitely be getting back into some more music and makeup, some playing with new makeup and all those things real soon. I hope you beauties have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you in the next one. Bye y'all.